Pumpkin by Lucy Ruth Cummins. It was a few days before Halloween. Outside a little shop in a big city, a shopkeeper placed some pumpkins on the shelves. A girl came and looked at the pumpkins. When she was done, she picked one up and carried it away. The other pumpkins worried after their friend. But later, they spotted him across the street and way up high. He was a jack-o'-lantern. Beneath his lovely stem, he now had two triangle eyes, a nose, and a giant toothy smile. He had a new home, a perch all to himself, high above the street. What more could anyone want? thought the pumpkins. They were thrilled for their friend and thrilled that they too might one day be jack-o'-lanterns. They were all happily lost in thought, imagining themselves as jack-o'-lanterns when one pumpkin realized something was very wrong. Poor little pumpkin, poor little Stemless pumpkin, with just a stump, not a stem. Poor little stumpkin. Still, there was plenty to like about stumpkin. He was a handsome pumpkin, as orange as a traffic cone. He was as big as a basketball and twice as round. Stem schmem, who knows? Some people might even prefer a stemless pumpkin. Days passed and more people came. Some pumpkins left. Some pumpkins stayed. It wasn't yet Halloween. There were still plenty of windows that needed jack-o'-lanterns. Who would be lucky enough to take home Stumpkin? As orange as an orange, as big as a basketball, round. He was very nearly the perfect pumpkin. Very nearly, truly. The next day, new people came. And the shopkeeper's cat settled on Stumpkin's smooth top. Then it happened. A brilliant baby chose Stumpkin until a bad dog ruined it and the baby changed his mind. Oh well, thought Stumpkin. It was the day of Halloween. There were still a few empty windows. Two were left on the shopkeeper's shelf. A boy came. And when the boy left, Stumpkin remained. The gourd, thought Stumpkin. I guess that's that. It was Halloween night and the shop had closed. There were no more days left. The shopkeeper scooped up poor Stumpkin and carried him off. Stumpkin wouldn't be getting a window and he wouldn't be getting a new home. He already had a home. And that made Stumpkin very, very happy.